Well, now that everything's settled, we can celebrate. <laughs> With more champagne. Yes, uh, for starters. Uh, oh, to our marriage, mm. and nothing else will get in our way. No, absolutely nothing. I'm completely self-sufficient now, you know. Well, financially, anyway. Financially is the only way for which you deserve a lot of the credit. No, 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 no. You get the credit for the company. My giving you my share of the company is just the icing on the cake. Is this really happening? I mean, can you really love me this much? I can, and I do. I keep wanting to pinch myself just to make sure I'm not dreaming. <laughs> You're not dreaming. It is real. Mm. And this is real. Mm. 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 No idea how happy I am. And you giving me your share of the company. You don't know what that means to me. You didn't have to do that. I would have been just as happy without it, you know. That's why I gave it to you, Anna. Ah, caviar. Oh, did you ever think? Did you ever imagine that we would be like this? You know, it's funny. I could never believe that you would ever refuse a gift I would give you. <laughs> You're not changing your mind, are you? Well, of course not. I mean, if, if you are, you, you know, I, I wouldn't hold you to it, you know. Honey, don't be ridiculous. I gave you the share of Annie Demarage's hands because you deserve it. No, that's not what I mean. I don't understand. I, I meant, you know, uh, if you wanted to take back your proposal, I wouldn't hold you to anything. If you wanted to change your mind, you know, there's still a lot of time to do that. Of course, I haven't changed my mind. Tony, I just don't want you to feel pressured into this marriage in any way. Now, do I look like a man who's being pressured? No, I guess not. Well, I assure you, I'm not. What's the matter? Are you getting the jitters about this prenuptial agreement? Oh, why should I be jittery? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe you'd want to call Mickey and ask him to tear up the, that agreement. No, you wouldn't dare. Well, I could call him. No, I wouldn't have you do that. Tony, I have to marry you on equal terms. I mean... The agreement allows me to do that. You understand that, don't you? Yes, I understand, Anna. And that is why. That is why. I love you. I love you. Good. You know, you've only told me that a couple dozen times in the last hour. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> mind well. No, I was actually wondering why you hadn't said it more often. <laughs> but I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> That's better. Mm. That's better. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well. This is really happening, isn't it? I mean... We're really going to get married. Yes, we are. I have so many things to do. I know I'm going to call all my friends and tell them that I am marrying the most wonderful man on earth. And tell them that they're all invited. Don't get carried away. Oh, Carrie. Carrie is going to be so thrilled. She agrees that you are the most wonderful man on earth. Y yes, but Anna, before we do that uh, and tell everyone, don't you think we should talk about the place and, and the time and that before we send out any invitations? I don't want to worry about details. I just want to know that our wedding is very special. Well, of course it is. It's going to be an event. <laughs> an you event? Know, what? You know what? I think we should have the, the wedding someplace very special for both of us. Someplace that holds wonderful memories for us. How about the shower? The shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I suppose it could be interesting. Clyde, they could whip up a couple of waterproof outfits for the bridal party. <laughs> I was thinking, like, how about naked? Oh. Huh? You just promised me one thing. Anything. You promised me that we will have the most spectacular wedding ever. It shall be the most spectacular wedding, followed by the most spectacular marriage. It will be, won't it? Yes, it will. 